Dear Ellis and John, I wanted to share the made-up game played by me and my significant other, Matt. It's a fun game which really utilises all the hours spent wasting slash scrolling through Netflix and when a free trial allows, Amazon Prime. Other streaming sites are available. I present to you the Rotten Tomatoes game, the game where an encyclopedic knowledge of truly terrible films comes into its own. The rules. Players, two or more. How to play. You pick a genre. The more obscure, the better. Then each, pl each player has to name a film they think has the lowest Rotten Tomatoes tomatometer score. The aim of the game is similar to that of the game show Pointless. You have to get as close to zero as you possibly can. After you've named your choices, search Rotten Tomatoes to see which has the lowest score, and voila, the lowest score wins. E.g., films where the hero is an animal, my answer would be Pudsey the movie, and it would be a cool 0%. Wow. How does it feel to be involved in a film that gets 0% on Rotten Tomatoes? Ask James Corden. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Phil John's really loosened up in the last five minutes. Yeah, yeah, he drunk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Carry on. Right. So, if you win the game, we are going to play a track on Five Live. Yes, and the tracks we're going to play today as our treat also feature on our BBC Sounds playlist, which you can find on the BBC Sounds app. Correct. Along with the podcast teaser and podcast episode number one after this show's finished. Yeah, also right. the podcasts are available in all your regular nooks and crannies of the internet. Yeah. Um, however... BBC Sounds is an option. Yes. That's its, that's my, its ta tagline, actually. It's my favourite option. BBC Sounds. I, another option. <laughs> so, Dave. There's some rules. Once you've said your film, you have to stick with it. Yeah. No Googling the answers, obviously, until I can put them through the system of the yeah, Tomatometer. Yeah. Uh -huh. And by all means, throw in a sequel, but you have to give the entire title. E.g., American Pie presents Beta House. Oh... Dear. I've never heard of that film before. No, I haven't. So Is it's that probably American quite... Pie 2? It wouldn't be 2. I reckon you're looking at 4 or 5. Okay. There's not 5 films in the American Pie me. franchise. There. Right, OK. So I'll give you uh, a genre, and then you hit us with the film that you think has the lowest This score. bed is so epic, I think I need the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll change the bed for next week. Are we yeah, ready? If you would, yeah. Animal movies. Mm, OK. Films where animals are prominent as well, so they have to be... A big player in the, you know, okay. a big part of the film. Not just, not just a, uh, a walk-on part. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Ooh. Okay. I think I have one actually. Okay. Alice. So I'm thinking of my films are going to be very 80s and 90s. I should warn you. Um, I actually watched this on video. Howard the Duck. Ooh. And even as an eight-year-old, I thought, this is rubbish. And you know, at the eight, you like pretty much everything you watch. Um, but yeah. not good enough. Not I've got a enough. feeling Mark Kermode really likes Howard the Duck. Oh, dear. Bad, bad for me. Bad but for I think me. he's an outlier there. OK. All right, then. OK, Dave. Oh, but I'm just struggling to find Howard the Duck at the moment. It does exist. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you on, I am, are you on Rotten Tomatoes? I think, he goes yes. I think he goes paragliding. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if my film has actually got animals in it. What is it? Apocalypse Now? <laughs> well, no, that does. Is it? An actual cow gets its head. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, I used to go out with a vegan when I showed her Apocalypse Now. Yeah. She was livid. Yes, yes. Um, at me, bizarrely, I didn't make it. Yeah. Um, okay, Dave, I'm going to go for, I think this is an animal movie, Flubber. <laughs> <laughs> is that an animal movie? Yeah, um, my sister had flubber. Yeah, it's it's not a real animal, but so what is it? It's a it's a it's a made up. It looks a bit like Slimer. Yeah, you can have a made like up animal. Like okay. Can you? I yeah. th I'm, I'm, I want I really want to see what Mark Flubber got. What's the plot of Flubber though, Dave? Because um, I don't want to have it if it's not got an animal in it. No, it's first ants. It's the first. Uh, oh uh, yeah. Uh, Robin Williams concocting a psych uh, a physics def defying substance that may save his for failing college. That's not really a lot to do with animals, is it? Uneven but good natured. Maybe okay. he had a dog. Maybe he had Maybe a dog. Flubber had a dog. Well I think we have to surely retract Flubber. No. Nope. Oh, I thought it was about dolphins. No, you're thinking Thank of God free that's music you. stopped, I was getting headaches. Alice, how the duck? Yeah. Fifteen percent. One five. One five. So. John Flubber, twenty-four yep. percent. It's one nil. One nil to Ellis. Okay. okay, great. What's the um, next uh... films starring Tom Cruise? Oh, the Cruise Master General. 
Hmm. But people like Tom Cruise. They do. And actually, I think he's got a pretty good track record of yeah. picking his projects. This is... Oh, I, I, I've got one. I've got one. Okay. There you go. Saw this at the cinema. Far and away, where he puts on an Irish accent. Ah, uh, good one. It's got Nicole Kidman in it. I it think that does. might be where they met. Yes. And her hair is very curly. And at least he tried with the Irish accent, whereas Kevin Costner in um, Robin Hood, he just he, uh, Robin Hood is Canadian as opposed to... Yeah, but I don't mind that, actually. I'd rather have that than a bad accent. OK. Dave, got it. I'm going to go for War of the Worlds. Oh. Oh, he's searching. Oh, sorry. It's we need the music at this it's stage. It's compelling don't we? radio. <laughs> yes. Okay. Great. Okay. War of the Worlds, seventy-five percent ah. Rotten Tomatoes. Far and away, forty-eight percent. Oh, well, which means Alice much. actually has won. It's two oh, nil. Okay. Well, let's do, let's do the third one. Let's yeah, do a bit the of fun. One. Okay. Films about sport. Oh, bad films about sport. Mm. Can I go first? Yes. Dave, what's the film where they um, oh. Pele and Bobby George are in it or whatever it is? Escape oh, to Victory. Escape to Victory. Yeah, okay, I'll go for Escape to Victory. Not Bobby George, he plays darts, Bobby Moore. Escape to Victory. Frustrating, I actually like Escape Frustratingly, to I could make this a clean sweep, but I can't no, remember. Do it. No, I can't remember the name of the film. A few years ago, they made a film about FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the official one. The official film about FIFA. Funded by FIFA. Funded played by, by Gary Oldman. Um, I can't remember, but someone played Seth Blatter. And it was, was it called uh, FIFA Faux Femme? No, no, I can't remember. I mean, that that you're looking at below 10%, I reckon, if I could remember the name of the film. So I'm going to go for A League of Their Own, starring Madonna, which is about baseball. Ah. Dave types away. <laughs> Here we go. A League of Their Own, 1992. Tom Hanks again? Yes. Again? Uh, he was in another film from someone else picked earlier. Uh, a League of Their Own, 78%. Uh -huh. Escape to Victory, 67 John gets ah, to play. 2-1. One. One. So two Ellis one. gets to play a song. And the song I get to play is It's an Absolute Banger and also extraordinarily a B-side. This is Mersey Paradise by the Stone Roses. <laughs> 